Hello, and welcome to Science Sunday for today, January 5th, 2020. I am your host, Annie Wilson, and, um, I have no idea what we're doing today. So, <laughs> and make it rain, just because the dogs are like, hey, you're streaming now. So, uh, the last couple of times I had been doing Science Sunday, I worked on, um, Words are hard sometimes, y'all. I'd worked on uh, amateur astronomy photos, like amateur astrophotography. I don't th think I have any more raw data. If I do, I don't have it ready. So what we can do is go ahead and find some more stuff to work on. So part of me is like, maybe I should reach out and do something other than Hubble. And another part of me is like, maybe we just stay with Hubble. I don't know how to run a poll. So yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll just pull up mast as soon as I can get it to load. Ooh, there's a new impact crater in Southern Laos. More asteroids. More asteroids. Hopefully no one was hurt. All right, so I have up mast and I don't know if there's a command for this. We'll find out. Aha, there is a, there is mast. So there, there's Hubble, Kepler, Galax, IUE, Fuse, and more. And it also has a Hubble source catalog. And I don't think, how is it a new impact crater if it's 950,000 years old? Any Ys? Um, I don't know if it has Ys. Let's go to archive. And HST, W, test, K2. Really? 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 That, that was just where I was. Virtual Observatory mission. Newly discovered might be more appropriate. Yeah, that's what I think too. Um, I don't see Y's here, huh? We can look. So we need a target though, or we can try to use the advanced search. So we can do mission. I don't know where mission is. Mission, mission, mission. Instrument, here we go. Project, there we go. I don't know why they call it mission on one side, but project on the other. We have TESS, H2, PS1, HST, that's Hubble Space Telescope, Kepler, HLA, that's also Hubble, uh, GIS, KS, HLSP, I don't know what that is, AIS, ETS, CAS, JWST, which how, WSS, um, I don't see Ys. I don't see Ys at all. So... Um, hmm. Let's do this for a second. Tinker, if you were on screen, it would be cuter. She's like, but I'll go here, Mom. Wise. So no need to duck. Yes. Wise astronomy. There we go. Wide infrared survey explorer. Okay, now that I have it up. Data access instructions and supporting documentation. <sighs> okay, so what are what are we gonna pull up? Wise, what are we gonna pull up in Wise? Multimedia gallery. Oh wow! Look at this Helix Nebula. Oh wait, that was from NASA Spitzer and Galax combined.
here we go. This one is, this is pretty. Hello again, Larry. Um, so this was, this image was captured by Wise. I have the vague idea of trying to discover asteroids, but not sure what kind of data you're interested in. Usually data I can color. And this is pretty. I have a feeling it's not gonna be very sharp. Um, it was recently, they found this though, looking for asteroids and images. That's actually pretty cool. feeling closer to the sun lately. Yeah, but are you actually going to feel it? Um, let's see. We definitely want wise. It is, but we can go and find the data itself and recolorize it because why not? this loading okay it is loading um do 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 do, do. I'm like I I don't know what to do so let's do M101 yeah M101 I'm not gonna lie is totally a uh, default oh neat okay so these images may look a little weird to you because they're essentially inverted. They are, this is actually how astronomers typically look at data. Let's see if I can, there we go. This is typically how astronomers look at data. Uh, for whatever reason, it makes it easier to see different things I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the bands do, but it looks like they do collect different data. So part of me is like, F it, why not? All right. And prepare download. Also send me a UR. Okay. I'm just going to do this real quick because you all don't need to know my email. Um, download all bands, specify cutouts, structures with folders, flatten, no folders. I really don't care. Prepare download. And save. Boom. Just like that. So now the fun part is going to be finding them on the other stuff. So let's see if I can get the dogs on camera. And y'all can look at the dogs for a second while I fumble around on, on my desktop. So we want, you could play marbles one time and have all the Messier objects play the game, whichever one of the 110 objects you win is what you process. You wanna know what? That's not a bad idea. Am I logged into the correct Steam account for that? I don't know if I can make marble players with a name though. Part of me is like, this is not a bad idea. How long would it take to set that up? Probably longer than what it's what it's worth right now. Um, what was I doing? Be a bit time consuming entering. Okay, so that's something I can set up later. Uh, good call on that, good call on that. So what is it that I want? Oh, I want Fitz Liberator. Dogs, we see your shadows, but not you. We see your shadows, but not you. All right, so, oh shoot, I have to go in and yeah, yeah, this is all the stuff I try to do, like, off stream.
because this is kind of the boring part. I am going through and trying to find images. And this, this is totally the boring part. Okay. Do-do-do. 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 We'll call this folder wise. Four to five kids is all it needed for a friendly game of marbles. Oh, um, what are you ordering, Ruffs Matt? Now I'm curious. All right, let's get a modern CCD. That's that's fancy. It's very fancy. All right, data processing. And open. That is really blurry. I will show you what I mean as soon as I get it ready. Why does it capture my entire display? I don't want you to capture my entire display. That's what I want you to capture. There we go. Um, so this is what the first image looked like and it looks really not great. So let me hit reset because it had some older stuff in there from the last time I did I did things. So we're just going to try to find a decent scaling function. Again, this is boring stuff. Really? There we go. So I liked this stretch function, and then we're going to do black lever level picker of this. No. And we're going to do white level picker of that. This actually looks a little too washed out. So we might actually want, hold on. Yeah, I love face on galaxies. Part of me is like, we could do this, but I don't know what the other ones look like like that. You know, there's only one way to find out. No, that doesn't add more. That doesn't add more detail. It was worth a shot. So not linear. actually do want the black clipping, but I don't like how the arc sign H works out. I don't think the log is doing it for me either. So the more I pull that out to get that, it just looks ugly. Yeah, it is totally Messier 101. Um, that may or may not be what I default to now. <laughs> Which part of me is like, I feel bad for this. Another part of me is like, why you feel bad for this? I think it's because um, Feldmeyer, did I break it? I think I broke it. I broke it. All right, all right, please hold. It's apparently not hard to break that piece of software. It's still broken. Look at that. Okay, there we go. That's better. Ay, ay, ay. I 
don't know. Do you guys want to like look at other data? We can look at other data. Let's do that. Because I, I don't know what all is really out and available in, in this. And I don't know if we can just do a random search. Which would be clear. Or which would be fun. Um... Solar system object orbit? What? What is this? Pallas. Okay. What is this? Mouse over the thing for details. Uh, three band? I don't even know what this is. We're not married to this data, so it's okay to look. I mean, I've never done anything with wise, so even if all we do is explore, then that's all we do. Wow, loading moving object single exposure images. This is taking a minute. All right, you're sitting, but you're also crying. She's like, it counts though, right, mom? Right? Right? I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. Did we select too much? I don't know. Okay, so what's Palace? Hello, Charlund. She's begging for Cheerios. She is literally begging for Cheerios. This is what she does. This is her life. It is her life's purpose. She knows mom is, is, um, Oh, if, if, then I wonder if we can get Bennu up. You, mmm, okay. Um, the dog that you heard whining, I don't know where she went. I heard her trot off. The dog you heard whining is Tinker. The dog you did see whining was Tinker. I don't see her on the camera. I can't really see her because there's too much stuff piled up. And I thought I heard her trot off. Where's Tinker, Puck? Do you want to get on camera? Come on. I know, you're not on camera, but I'll pet you anyways. Oh, it's a large main belt asteroid. Okay. I, I don't know what I would do with all of these. Tinker, get out of the trash. I don't know what I would do with all of these images. It's neat though. So I wonder, I wonder. All right, so let's go back to searches. So let's do Saturn. Let's see what Saturn pulls up. Yeah, you wouldn't think a dash hound would do, would do so much damage, but oh my goodness. She can do a lot of damage. Well, she's not starving either. Broken Symmetry says, uh, I bought Cheerios for my dogs, but they're spoiled, so now I am hooked on them. Yeah, I know, right? I know. We may actually have to go out to the store and buy more Cheerios. Because I have, like, maple-flavored Cheerios, but I'm not sharing flavored Cheerios with my dogs. It's, it's, it's a thing. It's just a thing. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we got pretty images of Saturn. No. So why do all the images look like this? I was like, oh cool, we're gonna get, you know, pretty images of Saturn. No, no we are not. Huh. I, I, There should totally be a command for Cheerios. I don't know what it would say though, Charland. I really don't know. It's not like we have a Cheerio fund. Um, I did not bring home any maple flavored cookies, Broken Symmetry. I left, a box went to Nancy, a box went to Susie. Or was supposed to go to Susie. I think they're being mailed. 
and we ate probably two boxes. Um, and there were probably five boxes total. So uh, I made sure Favorite Human had some, Pamela had some. I don't know if any made it upstairs to her Favorite Human. Oh no, I, I would totally love for there to be a, a Cheerios command. I just don't know what it would say. Wow, this is not... Oh, that's a good one, Larry. Larry's like, the Cheerios com command could explain how one could make it rain. I mean, she's sitting and she's sitting on camera, so we're gonna make it rain. Sometimes I don't catch that she's sitting on camera. All right. So what was that? The Helix? So we're going to go to Helix Nebula. So you'd think dog treats something, man. We're not very big. That's the problem. Like, I think that a lot of people, I think we would just accept you know, Cheerios, a Cheerios sponsorship that just was like, here you go. Oh, here we go. Why do I have to? Was that the same one we saw earlier? That was all kind of washed out? I think it was. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is the same Helix Nebula. Go to this press release. Sometimes it'll tell us which... It does not tell us which data. Huh. But this was collected in 2010. So, yeah. What kind of dog is the white one? That, the white one is Puck. Come here, Puck. Can you come, come get on camera? If I really get him up on my lap, we can do it. Uh, he is an American Eskimo. They've formerly been called uh, White Spitz. Um, let's see. Put the dogs up real big while I prepare this download. White Spitz, German Spitz, um, I don't know if the name is going to change because Eskimo is a derogatory term and it's kind of funny because these dogs just have nothing to do with, um, they don't really have anything to do with Eskimos, honestly. They are a German breed. I believe they were a German breed um, that came over and I rumor has it they were circus dogs and all this other stuff but uh, he is a cross between um, I think it's a mini and a standard ah key sound yeah um, so like that's what they they used to be called one thing and now we call them American Eskimo, which is different from a Canadian Eskimo dog, which may actually have more to do with, you know, native peoples. All right, so screw it, we're gonna do this. Um, I guess I need to pull up Fitz Liberator again. But I can't do that without changing all the things. Downtown Buffalo is a multi smell when the local baseball stadium was seeking a new sponsor. It's, I said it should be called Cheerios Field. See, I haven't spent a whole lot of time in Buffalo. When I did spend a decent amount of time in Buffalo, uh, it was winter time. Oh, that's right. I did not download the data where it needed to be. Or I did not extract the data. So now you all have to listen to me extract the data. It was winter time and you really couldn't smell it, so. Excuse me. Oh, extract all. Extract. Close. To open up my other folder. Come on, open, 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 open. Open a new window. 
network stuff, data processing. We'll just drag that over here, delete it from here, boom, boom. They went with a meat packing company. That's silly. Opportunities were missed. Yeah, most of the, see, but like even Huskies qualify as being like a Spitz dog, Spitz type dog. So there is that. There's totally that. That's a nice stretch at the bottom. These are not nice stretches. These are non-existent stretches. I know, Tink. Tink's like, but mom! All right, I think that's the stretch we're gonna go with, not Sausage Stadium. That would be kind of, that would be low-key hilarious. Background sampler tool, peak sampler tool. Let's do, these are foreground stars and that's why they're so bright. But we really don't want that to be maxed out either so that's that can be problematic oops no not like that reset reset i broke it i broke it all right so let's do background sampler tool Which now is like, no, we're not going to do it. Oh, because I'm not, I don't have a good stretch function on it. This part is like, just experimenting. And it's kind of frustrating. In Erisher, ooh, part chow chow. Oh, I see. My dog never learned to spit. He was a great Dane Mastiff cross. So all he did was drool. Morning all. Hey, Limprimble. I am just futzing about with not HST data for a change. Which, if some of you know me, that you're going to be like, what? No! I wonder if they've ever updated this, this software, because this is like twice that this has happened today. Oh, there's a readme file. That was the most unhelpful readme file ever. Toby. All right. That does not help me at all. I want rid of that. I guess that's just gonna have to be something we live with. I'm not happy about it, but I guess this is just gonna have to be something we live with. Okay, okay. All right, save. One, open the next one, same settings. I said same settings. Why does it look like this?
Oh my. Okay then. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my. Oh my. Um, well, this might just be one of the ugliest things we've ever worked on. Save. And then open file. We'll do this last one, which again, I don't know what's happening here. Part of me is both amused and horrified because it should not look, oh, I didn't do the right stretch function. Let me do the right stretch function and then it's a, attempt to do things. Like why, why, why do you look like this? All right, well, I guess we'll see what it all looks like when it's all layered together next week. Or we might just play in more archives next week. Who knows? Who knows? Do um anybody have any other suggestions for stuff? Cause I don't know what's up with limp not limp rumble. I don't know what's up with Fitz Liberator. Um any of that stuff. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a day, y'all. Um, I mean, I guess we could talk about what kind of data you guys would like to watch me process. You pretty much just hop on here and hang out with me anyways. Um, I mean, it is a new year. I should probably try doing new stuff rather than just HST. So I got a pen. I'm ready. So I know... I know planets seem always seem cool and I don't know how to work with planets. And I wonder if Kevin McGill has like stuff out there. I also, or is it Kevin McGill or Kevin Gill? I don't know. Um, Pluto. I'll write down Pluto on my post-it. Because colorizing Pluto would be cool, I think. I, I have no idea how to colorize planets. You know, when I started doing this, it was, I just want to work with HST data. What is my take on Nibiru? I am not an astronomer, so um, I can't colorize, I, I can't colorize something that hasn't been, you know, imaged. Um, another thing we could potentially do, even though it's not sciencey, and I would have to talk to Dr. Pamela first, is going into the, um, the physics behind cameras, which is kind of fascinating. Um, I have two of these. I have two of these. One is in a different container. But this, this one actually has film in it and I think is calibrated. So this is, for those of you that don't know, this is a Argus C3. It is a wholly mechanical camera. or no digital bits in this. It was made in the 1940s. These are super cheap on eBay. You can buy one for 30 bucks, which is why I have um, two of them. One of them was actually my grandfather's. This one is the one I bought. This one I have torn apart multiple times and serviced. Uh, quite frankly, with my grandfather's, even though it is a very common camera and I could get replacement parts and it would be very hard for me to actually do any damage in there. Um, like the physics behind photography is, is kind of, is super cool. I know it's not astronomy stuff, but it, it's still physics. Um, 
but yeah, I, I have two of these really old cameras that are easy to tear apart and <laughs> service and work on. Hey, 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 humans are talking. Um, so that's something we could do, like talking about aperture and exposure stuff, because I'm trying to understand a lot of that on my own, because I've never really done film. It is a super cool camera, and I have other lenses for it, and filters, and yeah. Me, trying to get ready for a move. Also me, buying camera bits. So there's that. Um, one more votes for planets, nebulas, and planets. Nebulas and galaxy are nice, but we have pretty stuff in our own solar system. That is actually okay. I, I, I'm hearing a lot of planets and stuff in our solar system, so I'll just put solar system objects. Um, there was a really cool uh, graphic that NASA, that somebody at NASA put together where it was the sun through different filters. And um, I think it was the same image, just taken with different filters and it was rotated around and that was really cool. It was super cool and that would be, I've wanted to recreate that. So that is technically a solar system object. So that would be fun. Uh, what is my take on Pluto? Planet or not? Oh wow, this is complicated. It is, it's a dwarf planet and it's a dwarf planet because we need to classify things. There's actually Pluto and Charon, and I think there's something else. I th think, I'm not sure, but I think Pluto and Charon are like a binary planet system. I think they orbit each other. And um, how far back did you post that bad panda bear? Because part of me is like that, it might be better for I don't see it in chat today um where did you post that bad panda bear um oh they counter rotate okay because I, I knew okay a few months ago that's like uh, maybe if it's in your, if it's in your Twitter feed, I'll try to find it. Um, but yeah, like then do you count Caron as a moon? Do you count Caron as a dwarf planet? Like what's going on there? And there are other dwarf planet like objects in our solar system aside from Pluto. Pluto's just the best known. Um, somebody mentioned Eris, um, Charon, Sharon. I I don't I don't even care, y'all. Gif, Jif, don't care. Um, but there's a lot of oh, it was in random on Discord. Oh, if it's in Discord, that's even easier to find. I'll find it. Um, or you can repost it and tag me, and be like, this is what I was talking about, Annie. Uh, but yeah, like somebody mentioned Eris, there's been, there are other dwarf planets in our solar system. So yeah, Pluto's just the best well known and it's, it's just our human habit of putting things into boxes. So yeah, yeah, um, I am totally of the thought process, like Resmat, that dwarf planets are also planets. We call them planets. They just happen to be dwarf planets. If you really want to torture yourself and learn all of the dwarf planets and all of the regular planets, go for it. But really, honestly, for education standards, for a lot of schools these days, you just need to know that there's a solar system and that there are planets and sometimes learning more stuff isn't conducive to Sometimes memorizing more stuff isn't conducive to learning. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh yeah, we ah! told We totally needed that that um that command when we were mapping Bennu. Oh my goodness. So many rocks. F Bennu. So many rocks. So yeah, okay, so cool. Solar system objects. I will do we may do research together on that. That's probably watching me research things is probably going to be really boring. So honestly, we're probably going to skip doing that on stream and I'll just be like, these are the highlights. Um, yeah. So let's see. Somebody asked about streaming from double AS. Yes, there will be streaming from double AS. Kind of, we are going to co-stream the, um, press conferences. And I have the first one, I have to do that. I have the first one, so Hawaii standard time is UTC minus 10. I am not joking. And I am UTC minus five. So the first one looks like it's in an hour and 15 minutes. So, um, yeah, in an hour, probably in about an hour, I'll be back online so I can um, co-host that. I think we'll be, hello, random set of numbers with Russian that I can't read. Um, yeah, I saw that broken Discord. Uh, I, I saw that. It was or broken discord, broken symmetry. I saw that it was adorable. So yeah, um, in about an hour, I'll be back online. So this is actually me wrapping it up and you are getting a timeout because I can't read what you're saying. <sighs> Fun. Fun. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going to wrap things up. So thank you for your suggestions. I totally have them on a post-it note, which of course gets green screened out. And oh yeah, go watch things erupt. I don't know what's erupting, but go watch it erupt. I'm going to go take a quick break and then we'll be back probably with marbles while we wait. And we can chat about what they're going to chat about, but I need some time to get ready for that. So. Um, yeah, be safe watching the eruption. That sounds super cool. Be safe. Anyways, y'all have been amazing. Thank you again for your patience. And yeah, I will see you in about an hour and things and stuff. So this has been a production of, um, Planetary Science Institute. That's PSI. Uh, PSI is a 501c3 nonprofit. So yeah, thanks. Y'all are awesome. They have been amazing. They are um, they are parent facility things of that nature. And sorry, my brain is all over the place, all over the place. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I will see you all in a little bit. Again, thank you for your patience. <sighs> and when I come back, we'll talk about double AS. So until then, have a wonderful insert time of day here and bye.